Hey gang, it's Mike Carlin from Trend. How you doing? Uh, I want to talk to you today about hot sheets. Hot sheets are one of those great, great tools inside of the system that allow you to see change types. So a hot sheet is really about wanting to see properties that went from active to pending, properties that went from pending to settle, that kind of thing. So hot sheets are a great, great resource, and we find in the field that a lot of people just don't really know how to set them up. Let me show you really quickly how to do it because it's really, really easy. So I'm going to go into Trend here. On the Trend homepage, there's a section right here called Hot Sheet, and you probably have one for residential, one for multifamily, one for commercial. What I would tell you, to get set up here, click on the Customize link, and just get in here, and whatever you have here, just get rid of them. I'm going to delete this one here. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one here as well. So you'll get a little message there that'll tell you, hey, you're getting ready to delete a hot sheet. You sure you want to do it? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to start fresh. I have nothing here now. Let's go ahead and add in a hot sheet for Northeast Philadelphia. So a few zip codes in Northeast Philly. So I'm going to click on Add. The system will ask you, what kind of hot sheet do you want to add? You can pick residential, multifamily, uh, commercial, whatever you want. Matter of fact, you can even use multi-category if you want to have a hot sheet that has different types of categories all in the same hot sheet. But I'm going to just do residential for now. Click on Save. So I have a hot sheet now, but let's go out and set up the kind of the innards of it, right? Let's go out here to Edit Criteria. So for my hot sheet, I really care about seeing new listings, active no showing, back to expired, expired, pending, anything that had a price decrease or sold or was withdrawn, uh, temporarily off market, and maybe anything that goes active O. Up here in type, I'm not going to select anything because I want to see any property type that has something cooking. Uh, I want to go over here to other. If I want to get into prices or number of bedrooms, um, you can. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get right down here to this area section and very specifically go into MLS area. And in Northeast Philly, the MLS area names are the names of uh, the actual zip code. So I'm going to say, give me 19114, 19115 and 19116. Those are three zip codes in Northeast Philly. Click on Save. So we have a hot sheet now called Residential, but isn't it really a Northeast Philly hot sheet? Yeah. Let's go out here and rename it, and let's call this thing uh, Northeast Philly Hot Sheet. And when I click on Save, it's done. If I click on the Trend logo, it brings me right back out. And in the real world, gang, what you'll want to do here is to keep this on New Only. And then when you click on your hot sheet, you're going to see whatever's happened for that hot sheet since the last time you looked at that hot sheet. Really, really tremendous tool. Remember, you can make this list look any way you want. You know, if you want to drag things around and make your, your list look a little bit different than what somebody else's looks like. Remember, you can do all of that. If you want it to stick, make sure you get over here to the gear and you can tell the program that you want to take your new view of your list and make it your default. So that's Hot Sheet, guys. Get in there and take advantage of it. It's a great, great tool to help you be more productive. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.